circles. Okay, so here we have the next question on the menu, and it is asking us, in the triangle A, B, and C, um, angle B is twice as large as angle A. Angle C is 20 degrees more than angle A, and we need to find the measures of this angle. Now, we don't have a diagram with this, but I don't think... I think that is also maybe reasonable to say that we don't really need a diagram for this. Okay, so what are some fundamental things that we know about uh, the interior angles of triangles? We know that interior triangle angle laws is that A plus B plus C, that's the angle at each one of the corners, like if A, B, C is, an ang is a triangle, like this, um, we know that the angles have to be, uh, the sum of all of them is 180 degrees, a fundamental law about triangles. Now what else does the question tell us about triangles? The question also tells us that angle B is twice as large as angle A, which means that B is equal to 2 times A. Okay, that's another thing to keep in mind. And another thing that they told us about angle C is angle C is 20 degrees more than angle A. So um, C is equal to A plus 20 degrees. Okay, so how about, hey, you see right here? What if we sub this into the equation and we also sub this into the equation? Okay, then we're only going to have... Um, the term A, then we're only going to have the term A in the equation and we can, we'll be able to solve for that. Okay, so let's make these substitutions and um, solve for A. So it's going to be A plus 2A, and that came from the B, plus, and in brackets, just so it's super clear, A plus 20 is equal to 180. And of course, that A plus 20 came from the C term right here. Okay, so let's uh, do some expansion with this. So we know that, um, or, or simplify this a little bit more. So A plus 2A plus the A in here, that's four A's. So 4A is equal to 180 minus 20. Okay, so you see the 20, this 20 term is brought to the other side, so we subtract it. Uh, that's equal to 160. And A, well, we know that that's just got to be 160 divided by 4. And, well, that's got to be 40 degrees. It's equal to A. Okay, and now that we know what f that A is equal to 40 degrees, we know that B is equal to 2 times A, which is equal to 2 times 40 degrees. So B, well, that's 80 degrees looks good to me and uh, the question also told us that c is going to be equal to a plus 20 so if c is equal to a plus 20 and a is 40 degrees plus 20 degrees c has got to be 60 degrees looks about reasonable to me okay so um, our final answers is a uh, equals 40 B equals 80 degrees, C equals 60 degrees. Now, just to be a 1,000% a certain about this, let's add them up all together with our original like um, interior triangle angle law. And um, let's add them up and see if they still add up to 180. If they do, party time, we did a great job. So um, is 40 degrees plus 80 degrees plus 60 degrees equal to 180 degrees? Well, um, 40 plus 80, 120, 120 plus 60, 180, that is perfectly reasonable. So big check mark, big happy face. We found all of the interior angles. Awesome. So uh, 40, 80, 60, perfectly exactly what we got. That's good. And big happy face. Good job. Awesome. The above solution is good. Good job. 
high five.